Habari zenu? Mambo? Mambo? Ah, muko sawa eh? Okay. Uh, I really want to say that the first uh, this is quite a surprise even when I was told I will be received here uh, a small something there. I was thinking that it would be the the three SS plus maybe one or two PS. I didn't think that the, everybody will be here, our staff. So I want to say that uh, I really appreciate even the thought to welcome me back to the ministry. <clears throat> it is, of course, uh, a reappointment, so it's a new job for me. And for you people, it's a new minister. Though the same minister, <laughs> but a new minister because... Uh, I will be signing possibly a new contract. There is a new letter of appointment. So I want us to have that in mind. Uh, may I also take the first opportunity to thank the entire team of the ministry for me to be back here. I am back here because you delivered. And that is also not just confidence in me, but confidence in our staff and the work we have been doing. Therefore, it's important that we thank God for taking us through that motion. I'm sure you followed everything, so there's nothing for me to tell you it was easy. We all know it was tough for the entire country, for the ministry, for the president himself to be able to deal with the issue that was there. So I sincerely thank His Excellency the President for reappointing me and finding it fit to return me back to this same ministry. He had the opportunity or he had the privilege to either take me elsewhere. The president had the option also of asking me to stay home. Na mkaona niki niki zungumuza sana na ware wajube nikawambia sina job na I'm looking for a job truly it is true that I didn't have a job but uh, detractors are many and we don't want to give them any opportunity for this particular occasion because when I said I didn't have a job it's important that I clarify that I only worked for the government for three years when I became a lawyer, I worked as a state counsel in the office of the Attorney General. Those were good days when you had a choice. I had a choice to be a magistrate, I had a choice to be a state counsel, but there was also a choice to go to private practice. I chose to be a state counsel from 1985 to 87. So the only time I worked for the government is that time. And now, back as a minister. So I employed myself in a private practice and I created a job for others. So I, I know that it's important to clarify because people are saying I've worked for several number of years. I don't want to mention those years. But it's a couple of years when I engaged in private practice and I worked for myself and the people of Kenya being my clients and I retained a certificate of practice from 1987 as a private 1987 as a private practitioner to the time I was appointed a minister because you can't have both your cake and eat it. Yes, it's a new beginning, not for me alone, for us as uh, technical people, as staff, everybody in this ministry, in every government office is key to proper efficient delivery of service. We must take this as an opportunity again for us to reflect on the work we were doing and how we were doing it. Are we some of the people that are creating the problem for the nation to the extent that the national security becomes threatened by possibly not delivering? I'm sure all of us know that there was a threat to national security. It means when we work, we must take care to ensure that national interest converges with the interest of the people of Kenya, the republic. 
survives because of our work. The state coordinates the work for the republic. I will not say a lot of things because for sure, for me to be able, I said God must have guided His Excellency to do this thing. And I'm sure none of you knew whether I will come back. Not just to this ministry at all to come back as a minister. Neither did I know. So it was also a time to find out in your, when, you delete, when you worked, how did you relate also to your people? Uh, and because I think there were, some, there were some ministers that were not happy to get back their ministers. <laughs> yeah, there, were, there were some ministers that were happy with the trust, with the maybe movement. Watch to say my query. Na nirikuwa ni naskiriza kwa ground ya ministry. Nikaskia murikuwa munataka nirudi. Kwa hivyo murikuwa kwa maobi pamoja na mimi. Ground yangu na inaonekana ilikuwa sawa. So I want to encourage you to even do better. For sure there is something we did well. But we can't sit here and clap and uh, say, yeah, be complacent. No. There is something we didn't do okay. Because the total sum is what Kenyan said is not going right. There must, of course there were misinformation. You followed the questions that I was asked. Some Kenyans even wanted me to be asked questions fired questions during the process of the vetting. Others even said I have avoided answering a question or two. That I didn't answer the question on, on fees increase, you know. The, the peers is the one who, who, who worked with, with the technical people on the increase, but I was the one on the firing uh, <laughs> board. And so, and that is the spirit of collective responsibilities, not just in the cabinet, but also in the ministry. So obviously, there are people who did not know we did robust public participation. The question was, you, why did you increase fees without public participation? So it means we must be louder, we must be clear, we must be consistent, we must change the entire government communication system and strategy. We have agreed that on that as, as government because yesterday as cabinet also because yesterday Because it's a new beginning. Lily, we cannot ignore what happened. And it is still happening. There is a lot of interrogation by Kenyans. There is a lot of spotlight. There is demand that we become more transparent and areas of corruption be sealed completely. And you all know where we can even cut wastage so that uh, we work in tandem with the thoughts and expectations of Kenyans. And you know, His Excellency the President is a very popular president. You know, you saw when he sacked us, all of us.